Here on Media Mementos, we have a lot of ideas for videos. How many ideas do we have exactly? Well, let me put it this way. We have every single video until February of 2022 all planned out. And keep in mind, this is early March when I'm recording this video. If we have all these ideas already, how did we get here? How many ideas did we have to throw away in order to get the ones that we're happy with? Well, you don't have to speculate any longer, because today we're gonna go through the top 10 rejected Media Mementos videos. There will be an order to this list, being that number 10 is the one that we'd be most likely to do if we were ever forced to make any of these, and then all the way up to number 1 which will never ever ever come to be. Also for the record, the first couple on this list are gonna be ones that we would really like to do, it's just that it's unlikely that they'll ever come to be for one reason or another. We'll touch on that when we discuss the topics of course. But now, enough stalling, let's get to the list! Number 10, Volvic Part 2. I love the Volvic video we made here on the channel. I think it's one of the best early videos we have. Although, I do have two issues with it. One, it's when I used my old crappy microphone to make my stuff. The water company, Volvic, who's famous for having volcanic spring water in every single bottle, really wanted to shake things up. They needed a new advertising push, and they needed it quickly. Yeah, that one. I don't miss it in the slightest. And two, I do regret making it at the time that I did because the channel was so new and a lot of people probably don't know that I even made it. A lot of the earlier videos like, say, ITV Digital or Conquer, they're pretty buried. A lot of people don't give them the time of day. Anyways, back to Volvic Part 2. I, along with my editor, Billy HL, think that the Volvic commercials are really interesting, mostly in earnest, but also a little bit ironically. We were wondering, is there anything we can do for a sequel? We'd love to talk about George and Alan again, but what's there left to do? Answer: The long defunct website. There was a lot of content on here, including a scene where George cussed you out. We touched on it briefly in the earlier video, but not enough. What treasures did it hold? What secrets was it hiding? We had to go to the land of Vulcanicity to find out. So we went to the Internet Wayback Machine and white screen. No matter what we tried, no matter what browser we used, white screen every time. If we can ever get the Wayback Machine to work, we'll definitely make the video. Heck, we'll rush it into production. But don't count on it. We're not exactly tech geniuses here, especially not me. But maybe someday, George and Alan will get another time to shine. Number 9, The Tragedy of Big Bug Man. This is one of the saddest pieces of lost media I have ever seen. Big Bug Man seemed like a really good 2D animated adult film. Heck, it was the final film to star the late great Marlon Brando. Apparently, Brando had always wanted to play an old woman. And for his role of Mrs. Sauer, the film's main antagonist, he actually dressed up as an old woman when they recorded his lines. He loved it, so much so that he said it was one of the best times he ever had acting. Keep in mind, Marlon Brando said this. He was in this, and this, and this, and even this. And out of all of the things he's done, Big Bug Man and Julius Caesar were his two favorites. Let that sink in for a minute. Actually, don't wait a minute, we don't have that kind of time here. Big Bug Man seemed like it was poised for success, but then it just disappeared. All that we have left are some news reports and some concept art, that's all. Nobody really knows why the film disappeared, and we wanted to figure that out, but then we realized why no one knows. There's no evidence to point to a logical conclusion. All we can do is really speculate, and that's not really what we wanted to do. So we might make it someday if some information surfaces, but for the time being, the tragedy of Big Bug Man will have to go unproduced. Number 8. An editorial video about why the third seasons of a lot of animated shows usually end up being the start of a decline. I mean, off the top of my head, Ren and Stimpy, Danny Phantom, Drawn Together, Jimmy Neutron, and there's several more I'm just not thinking of right now, but you all know the effect. After a couple seasons have passed, the show starts getting... less than perfect, let's just say. We were gonna take an extensive look as to why this happens, but then we kind of realize that the answer is right in front of us. In the case of shows like Drawn Together, which, once again, by the way, the creators have owned up to this, 
They get distracted with something else or they don't feel as motivated as they used to be. So they simply don't know what they're doing anymore and they gotta make something, anything, people are waiting for a new episode. Or in the case of, say, Jimmy Neutron, the people are trying too hard to do something new and they end up making something that is either not good, doesn't fit with the show, or a bit of a mix. The way we wrote the script, we realized that we couldn't make an entire video about this. It was basically, hey, look at this show. The show either got lazy or tried too hard to be new. We agreed that sounding like a broken record would not be the best video. But this is not the only time that we had an interesting premise that ended up being too repetitive, but more on that towards the end of the list. Number 7, Star Wars Battlefront 1 vs Star Wars Battlefront 2. For the record, we're referring to the originals here, the original Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, not the new ones that EA has. No, 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 we're not touching those. I was playing through both games at some point and thought, hmm, I wonder if making a video comparing and contrasting the two would be interesting. And it wasn't. I wrote out some of the script and realized this is kind of boring. I mean, I had some good points, but I just couldn't make it interesting in the slightest. So we ended up nixing the video, much to our shame, because both I and my editor really wanted to make this, but if it's gonna be boring, it's not worth our time. And trust me, I tried to rewrite it a few times, but the things we were discussing just weren't very interesting. Besides, it's an easy conclusion. Number one has the better presentation, but number two is the better game in general. So there you go, that's Star Wars Battlefront 1 versus Star Wars Battlefront 2. No need to make the proper video now. Ah. <laughs> We're probably still gonna get asked to make it, aren't we? Oh well. Number six, the mystery of Ed and Nettie season six. Oh boy, was this one a major disappointment. So for those who don't know, yes, Ed and Nettie did indeed have six seasons in a movie. The only thing is that season six was only one episode long. We were all set for this grand scale investigation with theories and data and timelines, kind of like what we had with Dan vs. The Network. The only thing is that, as soon as we started researching, we found the 100% factual, definitive, undeniable answer. See, what happened is that they used the rest of the production for Season 6 to make Ed Ed Nettie's big picture show. And that's it. That's the answer. Knowing that, the video would probably be about 2-3 to three minutes if we ended up making it. That's not worth your time, that's not worth our time, that's not worth anybody's time. Well, except maybe that guy over there. It was a real shame that we had to cancel the video because I really wanted to talk about Ed and Eddie somehow. In fact, I'm gonna be talking about the show in an upcoming video. And this video may come out sooner than you may think. Stay tuned for that, folks! Number 5, the top 10 theme songs that are better than their shows. This one was really, really repetitive. It's another one where we thought it was a great concept, but we just couldn't get a script. It was basically, wow, this song is really good and the show sucks. Or, wow, this song is real banging, but the show is just kind of mediocre and dull. That's all there was to it. It's another one of those where we feared we'd sound too much like a broken record. And for the record, these would be the contenders for that list. <laughs> There you go. I hope you're satisfied with that list because that's basically all you're ever going to get out of this concept. Number four, a follow-up video to why Meet the Feebles is secretly brilliant. For those who don't know, I made a Meet the Feebles video here on this channel. Here it is. To be honest, I'm not really proud of it. I was having a lot of microphone issues, which you can hear in the final product. So I had to re-record Meet the Feebles is secretly brilliant again and again and again and again and again. To the point where when I recorded it the what, fifth time, sixth time, I was just dead and you can hear it in the recording. I would love to remake this one, but people seem to really enjoy it. It's pretty popular and it's got a lot of positive feedback. So I figured, you know what, why not make a follow-up video discussing all the things I skimmed over in the original video? That way I can have a Meet the Feebles video that I actually am proud of and people can be happy knowing that there's more Feebles content on the channel. It felt like a win-win, but then I looked at the original script, and yeah, there was nothing left to discuss. In the original video, I went over basically everything that made Meet the Feebles tick. So it's either remake the video or leave good enough alone. And I had to side with the latter because that's what people seem to like. They're happy with the video, so I may as well keep it up. 
It's one of those, like, looking at the banned episodes of Ren and Stimpy where I'm not super fond of that video, but it's really popular anyway, so may as well keep it around. Besides, like that video, I'm really thankful for all the positive feedback that came with it. I really like how people are getting invested in our content. So why not keep it up for posterity reasons? We love our fans, and our fans like these videos, so keep them up. Number 3, the Top 10 Best and Worst VeggieTales Episodes. Now I bet a lot of you longtime viewers are wondering, wait a minute, didn't you say that there wasn't going to be any VeggieTales content here on Media Mementos? Yes, I did say that, but I do think that there's been enough time that's passed since VeggieTales abridged. We can let the show have a place on the channel. I don't know if you guys know this, but on my old channel, I did actually have a Top 10 Best and Worst Episodes list. And then I remade it. The problem is, I and my editor are not satisfied with that remake. I didn't really want to make the remake at the time that I did, I kind of felt pressured into it, more on that, never. But you can hear how uninterested I was in doing it in the delivery. It wasn't fun. I do stand by everything I said, but the delivery, man, it's like Meet the Feebles is secretly brilliant, it's all in the audio. And we were gonna remake it, but then we kind of realized. Not only are my points the exact same as they were in that video, but it's the third time I'd be making it. What's the point? It'd be boring and stale. You guys wouldn't want to see that, you guys want to see fresh content. So we're gonna do something with VeggieTales someday, a lot later down the road, but I can promise you, it's not gonna be this. Number 2, The Downfall of Pokemon Bridged. I loved Pokemon Bridged. I thought it was hilarious. Keep in mind, I was in like 8th or ninth grade when the show was in its prime, so cut me some slack. Even when I got older, I still watched it more out of habit than anything else. I was following every new episode, and then one day it just stopped. No new episodes, no word from the crew, the Patreon page was shut down. What happened? Well, we figured out exactly what happened in this giant twit longer created by the series creator, and... Wow. Oh, wow. That's all I can say is just wow. If you want to read it, go read it yourself, because I am not going to read it all here. That'd take a very long time. We were going to make a timeline video discussing the events and when they happened. But then we kind of thought, do we really want to do this? Do we really want to delve into internet drama that in no way involves us? Answer? No! No, we don't. So we decided to nix the video entirely. I'm sure someone else can make the video, someone who's more interested in drama than we are. But let me tell you, you will not see the downfall of Pokemon Bridged ever on Media Mementos. Now I bet you're thinking, what could possibly be more unmakeable than that? Well, it's a video in a similar vein. Number one, was Nostalgia Critic ever good? Real quick, let me answer that question. No, none of his stuff holds up, not even close. We wanted to make a video analyzing that, but not only did we feel the same way about this topic as we did about the downfall of Pokemon Bridged, but there were two other issues. One, Doug Walker is basically already an internet punching bag. We don't want to kick a guy while he's down. There's no point in doing that, especially because, once again, we're not a drama channel. And we never will be as long as we can help it. And secondly, we don't want all the extra attention that comes with talking about Channel Awesome. For this, we're gonna have to talk about another YouTube reviewer, Cinematic Venom. He made a documentary about Change the Channel and Channel Awesome in general. He ended up blowing up getting tons of new subscribers. The only problem is that they'd never watch any of his actual content, they'd only watch his Channel Awesome videos. And they would constantly demand for more updates or discussions or retrospectives. Who cares that he's a reviewer who does other things? He has to be a Channel Awesome channel now because they said so. That and also he got in a lot of hot water with some of the former creators who showed some of their less than desirable traits, let's just say. We don't want that to happen to us. And the only way to truly prevent it is to make sure that this Doug Walker video never gets made. And it never will be. That is a Media Mementos promise. So those were the top 10 rejected Media Mementos videos, what'd you guys think? If you could change our minds on one of these topics, which one would it be? Comment below and let me know because I'm always excited to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time!